All right then gang, so you can see I've gone ahead and opened up VS Code and I've got a brand new directory called Beautify Playlist here and there's nothing in it whatsoever at the minute. What I'm going to do is create a new view application using the Vue CLI version 3. So to do that we say view, create, and then the name of the project which I'm going to call Ninja To Do. Or rather we'll call it To Do Ninja, sounds a bit better, To Do hyphen Ninja. Okay, so press enter, that's going to install this for us, it might just take a minute. All right, so we need to select some options. I've already created some presets, but what I'm going to do is manually select features down here. Now, I'm going to use Babel and Alinta, but I'm also going to use the router at some point as well. So I'm going to press spacebar to select that. Then I'm just going to press enter, and that's going to go ahead and go on to the next question. Use history mode for the router. I'm going to say yes. This is so we don't have those little hash signs inside the URLs. So I'm going to press yes and then enter. Then I'm going to select the ES lint with error prevention only right here. Lint on save. And we're going to place this in package.json. Save this as a preset. No, we don't want to do this. And press enter. So this is going to install the project for us now. All right, so now that's installed, we can see that folder here on the left with all of the different files inside. We're going to mainly be working inside this source folder. And what I'm going to do, in fact, is just zoom in a little bit so we can see this a bit better. Okay, that will probably do. And what I'm going to do now is actually cd into this directory. So I'll say cd to do hyphen ninja to go into this project. Then I'm going to run the local development server by saying npm run serve. Just so we can see this inside a browser. All right, so now we can control click on this link to see this inside a browser. And we'll scroll over here and we can see this is the starter application. So Vue automatically created all of this dummy code inside the source folder, inside views, and we can see we have home and about. It's already created all that, and that's what we're seeing here in the browser, this dummy application. Now, what we want to do is install Vuetify. Now, the way we do that is by adding a plugin into this view application. So plugins are the way forward inside the Vue CLI version 3. If you want to learn more about them, check out my mini series on the Vue CLI version 3. But essentially, all we have to do to add a plugin is just say view. And first, we'll cd into to do ninja again. Then we'll say view, add, and then the plugin name, which is Vuetify. So this is going to add the Vuetify plugin for us now. It's going to ask us a couple of questions in a second as well, just to set up this plugin. All right, so it's asking us to set up a preset. I'm just going to go with the default one for now. And that's going to carry on the installation. And what this plugin has done is actually edited our files inside this project. So first of all, you can see this new plugins folder right here. And inside here, we have one called Vuetify. And this thing right here, this just registers the Vuetify as a plugin. So we can see we import the view library and Vuetify. Then what we're doing is saying view use and we're using the Vuetify plugin. This is how we register a plugin in Vue.js. And what this is doing now is giving us the ability to use all of Vuetify's custom components inside our Vue application. This object right here just represents some options for Vuetify. At the minute, we just have one property, which is the icon font, and this is material design. But we'll return to this options later on when we look at themes. So that's what this is done for us. It's also edited our different files down here. So if we now look at home or rather app.view, we're going to see now we have this different template and these different components. And all these components start with V hyphen. So that stands for Vuetify hyphen, then whatever the component name is. So we're going to go through all of these different components later on. But for now, what I want to show you is this is updated over here as well, but it doesn't look good. So what I'm going to do is just cancel out of this and then I'm going to run npm run serve again just to catch any changes it might not have done before. And let's open this up once more. And now we can see it's looking a bit better. So this is totally different from the dummy application that we got when we just created a new view app using view create. Now we've added the Vuetify plugin, it's looking a lot different. And that's because it's using all of these different Vuetify components that we just saw inside the template. So now we've added Vuetify to this project, let's start in the next video and look at some of the Vuetify basics.